say over a dollar? Thank you. Okay, folks, so these are my DVD and Blu-ray pickups for the last about two weeks. I'm going to go over why I picked up these items. Um, majority of you know already that my main focus are uh, horror movies and superhero movies and out-of-print movies. I do pick up other items, and that's simply just for resale uh, to add movies into my collection and to put a little extra money in my pocket so that I can reinvest in more video games. All right, so we'll start off in the back. We got the Beavis and Butthead Mike Judge Collection, Volumes 1 and 2. Very awesome right there. Uh, anytime I see Beavis and Butthead, it's just nostalgia, and I was able to get those on the cheap. Uh, this WWE Raw 20, um, 20th Anniversary Collection, actually goes for around $23.00 or more on eBay and uh, I picked that up for cheap so that was just to flip the shallows is an awesome shark horror movie did not have it I wanted it so I added that into collection as well as the Babadook and scary movie one two and three uh, moving on we've got super jail season one this is actually from adult swim and uh, Pre-owned, this can sell for about $9 to $10, and I was able to get that for a dollar. Uh, so I'll make a few bucks on that. As well as all of these Dragon Ball Z movies, uh, they're all in really fantastic condition, and I was able to get them for a dollar. I figured if I bundled them together and sold them for about 25 bucks, you know, a little extra money in the pocket. Cheech and Chong's actually should be over here. We'll go over that in a minute. Uh, Tomb Raider, fantastic movie. This was actually <laughs> way better than, in my opinion, Angelina Jolie's versions. Uh, Devil's Rejects, fantastic Rob Zombie horror movie. I did not have that, so I was glad to add that into the collection. As well as Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, Unrated. 
Then we had the entire Planet of the Apes Legacy Collection. Uh, this is not out of print, but this is all five disc movie set. Um, and I love Planet of the Apes. So I found that at a yard sale. She wanted a dollar. Happy to do that. Now this movie, I believe the price on this movie is going to go up eventually. Because this is becoming harder and harder to find. I don't see this very often. And so when I did, one, it being horror, it was a spoof on a horror. It's almost like the scary movies. Uh, these were done by the Wayans Brothers. And, um, but I mean, it's got Tiffany Amber Thiessen. If you ever watched Saved by the Bell, <laughs> well, there she is. And Coolio. Funny story about Coolio. When I was in the military, I was stationed in South Korea. He came to South Korea on a USO tour. And, um... They were having a celebrity basketball game. I go into the restroom, you know, do my business, and in walks Coolio and stands at the stall right next to me. <laughs> it was pretty wild. It was it was a pretty wild time. Anyway, uh, this is a movie I've never heard of. It looked very interesting. Uh, I mean, just off of the case alone. This is actually um, a BBC series, movie, excuse me. And... Um, it looked horror-esque. Um, it kind of reminded me of Pan's Labyrinth, just off of the case alone. So I figured for a dollar, I'd pick it up and give it a try anyway. Then we've got Anaconda and Anacondas. Uh, I did not have this. These are some fantastic uh, movies. And a cool story about Anacondas is this chick right here. Her name's K.D. Strickland. She's one of the main characters in the movie. She's from my hometown. I went to high school with her. So, very cool. Very cool. Alright, now we'll move on to the Out of Prints. We got Cheech and Chong's uh, The Corsican Brothers. Doesn't go for very much, but it is out of print. There's actually quite a few Cheech and Chong movies that are out of print. And I still got the price tag on it. Still, it was a dollar. Probably the best Blu-ray find I've had in a while is an extremely out of print Satan's Little Helper. The the girl at the um, pawn shop was asking me, really? She And she knows me, so she was like, really? You're buying that? I'm like, uh, yeah. She was like, why? I was like, to make money on eBay. <laughs> um, so if anyone's interested in any of these out of prints, the Dragon Ball Z, uh, the Super Jail, the WWE Raw 20th uh, Anniversary Collection. Just let me know. I've got a lot of this stuff listed on eBay already. But this can go for around 35 to 40 bucks. Satan's Little Helper. Another out of print horror is Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. Um, so this is like this is like a cannibalistic movie. Um, this can go for around. 15 to 20 bucks. It's like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom meets Mountain of the Cannibal God. It's uh, pretty out there. Now, I actually already have a copy of this. A lot of people think that this is the remake. This is not the remake. This is the 1981 uh, original My Bloody Valentine. And the reason it's special edition is because when the remake was released on DVD and Blu-ray, Lionsgate also released the 1981 version, and they called it the special edition on DVD and Blu-ray. The Blu-ray goes for very good money. We're talking around in the $70 to $80 range for that Blu-ray. Um, I already have this, actually... It's way up there, like right there. Um, but this is out of print and can go for around 20 bucks. And then Willow. Willow is also out of print on DVD and Blu-ray. However, the price for Willow has dropped dr very much, drastically. Um, used to be able to get about, around 15 bucks for Willow. And now on eBay... They're going for about six to eight bucks. Did not know that at the time when I bought it. I still 
figured, hey, there's Willow. I can get there's fifteen dollars right there. Well, the price has gone down, and that kind of made me sad. But there you have it, folks. Those are my DVD and Blu-ray pickups for the last week and a half, two weeks or so. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And hit that bell icon so you receive all notifications. Folks, I hope you are having a fantastic week so far. I know I am. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.